Dear listener, welcome to my channel. Topic is Modeling Information Retrieval. In this video, Latent Semantic Indexing, which comes under set theoretic model, is explained with example. This is a taxonomy of information retrieval model. In this video, I am going to explain Latent Semantic Indexing, which comes under the algebraic model methods, which is extension of the vector method. Introduction the process of summarizing documents and queries using index term can lead to a poor retrieval performance due to two key effects. First is inclusion of unrelated documents. When documents are summarized using index term, there is a risk of including many unrelated documents in the retrieval result. This occurs because some documents may share common index terms with the query but are not conceptually related to the query. For example, neurons of brain versus neurons of artificial neural network. Neuron word is there, but the concept of brain and concept of artificial neural network are totally different. Failure to retrieve the relevant documents. Conversely, relevant documents that do not share any index term exactly with the query may not be retrieved at all. This means that valuable information could be missed because it is not adequately represented by the chosen index term. For example, in our repository, all the documents are stored with the keyword China and the user is searching from the PRC that is Public Republic of China. The main reason for these two effects is the inherent vagueness associated with retrieval process which is based on keyword set. An alternative approach to address this problem is to move away from the index term matching and instead use a concept based matching approach. In concept based matching, the emphasis is on matching the underlying concept and ideas present in documents to those in the query rather than relying solely on the presence of specific index term. This allows for the retrieval of documents that share relevant concept with the query even if they do not contain the exact keyword from the query. Latent Semantic Indexing It was introduced in 1988. LSI is a technique that analyzes the relationship between the terms and concept in a large collection of documents. It creates a semantic space where documents and queries can be represented based on their underlying semantic meaning rather than just their surface level index term. This approach can help to improve retrieval performance by capturing the conceptual similarity between the documents and queries. Two ideas are there, map each document into some concept as well as map each query into some concept. Here, the idea is to map documents and queries into lower dimensional space that is composed of higher level concepts which are few in number than the index term. That means the concepts comes under the lower dimensional space and keyword comes under the higher dimensional space. Retrieval in this reduced concept space might be superior to retrieval in the space of index term. It works like an automatically constructed the source. For example, if our query is modeling information retrieval, we may retrieve documents that don't have the term modeling but they contain almost all methods of information retrieval modeling. First is a term concept matrix and second is a document concept matrix. We require to map from the term concept matrix to the document concept matrix. Now eight keywords are there. Now these four first four keywords are related to concept of statics and next four keywords are related to the concept of operating system. And here in document concept matrix in our repository 8 documents are there and first 4 documents may be related with statistics and next 4 documents are related with the operating system concept. For example here the user gives the query inference. Now when the user gives the query inference at that time it is mapped to the uh, concept. So here 2 concepts are there statistics and operating system. So term concept matrix will map this inference keyword into the concept of statistics. Now in the repository also two concepts are there statistics and operating system. When the inference keyword is given so at that time d1, d2, d3, d4 gets retrieved and when thread keyword is given it is mapped to the operating system and the 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 document gets retrieved. LSI is implemented through SVD that is singular value decomposition. In this video, I am not going to explain how SVD works. So you have to first understand how SVD works, then only you will come to know that how it is mapping the query or 
document into a concept. SVD is very powerful tool of linear algebra and matrix analysis. SVD having variety type of application ranging from data analysis, low rank approximation, pseudo inverse, least square approximation, signal and image analysis. For information retrieval modeling, main aim is to use SVD to find concept in matrices and perform dimensionality reduction. Now here also we are performing the dimensional reduction by uh, converting the keywords into the documents, sorry keywords into the concept. For example, 8 documents are there, D1 to D4 related with the statistics. So when the documents are related to statistics, the keywords inference population sample test are present and this is nothing but their term frequency and similarly for operating system. Derivation of the LSI model, let T be the number of index terms in the collection, let N be the total number of documents, we require to define the matrix M that is IJ as a term document association matrix with T rows and N columns. To each element M of IJ of this matrix is assigned a weight WIJ, weight is associated with the term document pair KIDJ. This WIJ weight could be generated using TF-IDF weighting technique common in the classic vector space model. Here for simplicity only term frequency is taken and not the TF-IDF. To rank documents with regard to given query, the query is added as a pseudo document in the original M term document matrix. I will explain while solving this problem. Assume the query is modeled as a document with number 0. So when we are giving the query, then we are adding these documents as a row 0 that is D0. For example, we want to give the query in which inference and test keyword is there. So at that time, we are adding either at the start or either at the end, but not in between. So here, uh, we can add at the start or add at the end, but here at the start, it is added. Now, whatever this matrix, that is matrix is nothing but the T rows and N columns, where T is nothing but the keywords and N is nothing but the columns of the matrix. The matrix M can be decomposed into three matrices K, S, D. K is a matrix of eigenvectors derived from M, M transpose. D transpose is a matrix of eigenvectors derived from M transpose M. S is R into R diagonal matrix of singular values where S is equal to minimum T comma N that is the rank of M. So while solving the problem, I will explain this K, D and S. So first we require to take the input matrix as M which is nothing but the terms into the documents and after that we have to apply the SVD algorithm. After applying the SVD algorithm we are getting the three matrices that is K, S and D. Now this is the original matrix and the size is 6 into 8. Now here the 6 are documents and 8 are the concepts, uh, 8 are the keywords are there. So size of the M is 6 into 8. So 3 and 3 that is documents are there and 8 keywords are there. So size is 6 into 8. After that first we apply the SVD on the M matrix and we will give the we will get the 3 matrix that is KSD. Now K is nothing but the matrix of terms into concept. So total number of terms into concept. So here the terms are 8 and concepts they are mapped to the 6. So why the concepts are mapped to the 6 I will explain. So this is the matrix of K which is terms into concept and D is the matrix of document into concept. So 6 documents are there and the concepts are uh, 6. Now why are the concepts are mapping to the 6 because this is nothing but based on the rank of the matrix. Now 6 rows are there and 8 columns are there. So here the minimum of 8, 6 is 6. So therefore total 6 concepts will be extracted. Therefore this S matrix is very much important and it will show that how many dominant concepts are present in our data collection. So uh, for these 6 documents, 6 rows and 8 keywords, we are getting the size of 6. Size of concept is 6 by 6 because a minimum of 8 and 6 is 6. Now here we can see that the first concept is dominant, second concept is dominant but after that value gets reduced. So 
we can decide that how many concept we should collect so we should collect first three values also or we should collect the first two values also so generally we take the dominant value so we are taking the value as this and this so when we are taking only this value so this matrix is also constructed that is taken in the two columns only here also we are going to take the two columns only to build a final matrix so in this way the SVD divides the M matrix into three parts first is concept into concept which is nothing but the S matrix terms into concept concepts which is K matrix and documents into concept which is nothing but the D matrix now here the size of the concept matrix is 6 by 6 and we are interested to take only the dominant concept so we extracted only these two first and based on that we are selecting the particular columns from the K matrix as well as the D matrix in the matrix X select only S the largest singular values keep the corresponding columns in K and D the resultant matrix is given by means from the M is equal to KSD but we are not taking all the six columns we are taking the columns with the largest singular values so we are selected only two values so this is nothing but ms is equal to ks ds dt where s s is less than r that is the dimensionality of the concept space so total concepts are six but out of that we selected only two concept the parameter s should be selected in such a way that it should be large enough to allow the fitting in the characteristics of the data and small enough to filter out non-relevant representation detail so by applying SVD we get the six concept but out of that six concept only two concepts are dominant by taking their values of singular values and we will decide that to keep the two columns after that when this matrix is get and when we apply this operation that is um, do document matrix and concept matrix and if we take this multiplication we are getting this value and from here you can easily find out that we are getting that uh, in our uh, database two concepts are there static sticks and operating system so we will get this is the dominant values and so first for this we will get like this and for this we will get like this so this is related with the static sticks and this is related with the operating system so all these values are zero because that they are not the dominant values of that particular keywords now for example we want to give the query so here we are given the query and when we give the query we can add that in the first row or the last row here we are adding in the first so now our query is related with which keyword for example this is nothing but the inference and test so we are given the query in which inference and test keywords are there so inference and test other values are zero and the term related to operating system are also not present so we are applying the first here we are applying the SVD so when we apply the SVD we will get the values now the seven documents are there so we will get that that is a maximum of eight and seven is seven so we are getting seven so now we are selecting this first two values because they are dominant after that only we select the two and when we construct that by this formula that is m transpose into m with the s rank then we are getting this value now here we can observe that we have to add we have added a query in the first row so we require to observe the first row now it will give the ranking with respect to the documents now this is nothing but the with respect to itself so we are not taking this value now this is nothing but the association with the document D1, document D2 and D3 and with association with D4, D5 and D6 is 0 because not associated. So these documents get retried. So here we can see this result like this or we can see the result like this also. So first row in the matrix provides a rank of all documents with respect to the query. For example now we add the query with respect to process and pagex now it comes under the concept of operating system now query is process and paging then again we will apply the uh, svd and we are get, getting the ksd from that also again we choose the value with the largest singular values and here we are only pick up the two and after construction we are getting this value now we can see that this is a association with the document itself now 
document with the first second and third there is no association but with the fourth fifth sixth the association is there so we will get the values so this results get retried so it is not searching based on the keywords but based on the concept here uh, simply whatever the frequency comes in documents it is taken for example in D1 documents inference keyword comes two times population three times sample three times and test so simply term frequency is taken but we can apply the methods like TF IDF also now here this is a three documents and next three documents as uh, so, sorry this are the keywords and these are the document one to document six now we can find out the maximum we can make the normalize so that value comes between zero to one and after that we can multiply it with the IDF but here IDF will be same as n is 6 and in all documents this particular keywords are present so uh, IDF will come same for all documents that's why I have not multiplied with the IDF but I will I have taken only the normalized distance so we are getting the distance like this and based on this distance even we can apply again the SVD and now we are getting the value like this so here SVD is 2.5 and 2.14 now here in the uh, query we are not giving in the top row but we are given the query in the bottom row so this is the query related with statistics in which first keyword and the fourth keyword is present so we will get the result at last for example when we add the first we will get the result here when we add the last we will get the result here and when we add the keywords related with this we are getting the answer here so next slide on the next slide we are adding the query in the last row and the query is related to operating system so we have to check the result in this direction so it will show that there is no association to the d1 d2 d3 but the association with respect to d5 uh, d4 d5 d6 and this is nothing but with respect to itself so better to add the query in the first row because it is very easy to see the result so this is the concept behind the latent semantic indexing latent semantic indexing provides an interesting conceptualization of the IR problem advantage of LSI conceptual matching reduce noise synonym handling overcoming polysemy so all these are issues these are already known in a NLP scalability improves precision and recall reduce sparsity because even sparsity is there but we are converting the documents into the lower dimensional space that is nothing but the concept enhanced user experience adaptability clustering and categorization so this is all about the latent semantic indexing for the information retrieval for this video the information is taken from the beds eds and the christopher manning books thank you